Recently, I've seen a lot of videos on Instagram Reels and on TikTok and on YouTube Shorts that claim to explain focal length, and they all look a little bit like this. Technically, what these videos show is not wrong, but there's a lot more to focal length that you should understand. Although focal length does compress the size of your frame, which most people know as zooming, focal length is mostly about compressing the distance between your subject and your background. This compression can have a huge effect on the feeling and the tone of the video. To better explain this, I got my dad to sit here and model some close-ups for me. Let's start with 35 millimeters. This is a focal length on the narrow end of what is still considered wide angle. Personally, this is one of my favorite focal lengths. It looks extremely natural and is super versatile. It has enough background separation to make some really nice bokeh and to make your subject pop, but it also allows enough information from the background into the frame to let your audience know where they are. If we go wider, say to 18 millimeters, this is now considered ultra wide. Ultra-wide lenses are generally considered from 18 millimeters to 24 millimeters. These obviously allow much more information from the background into the frame. On close-ups, ultra-wide lenses stretch everything out and sort of distort facial features. This makes them really popular for use in scenes where our character is having like a psychological breakdown or is just generally tense and uneasy. On the other end of focal lengths, we have telephoto lenses. These are generally considered to be 70 millimeters and up. These lenses create the most intense separation between your subject and your background. In a close-up, this gives the idea that a character is stuck or can't move. It also lets the audience really focus on facial expressions. So in a moment of realization or decision, this is a great choice. Of course, it's important to understand that these examples aren't rules. Focal length is a creative choice which can have many different effects on your image. For example, all the effects that I went through in this video are only related to close-ups. So these same focal lengths in a different type of shot can have a very different effect on the tone. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to cover different aspects of focal lengths as well as any other questions you might have on anything filmmaking or photography related. I hope you guys learned something new in this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment so you can catch future videos. See you next time.